Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. Visibility is down to a quarter of a mile. Been a fun drive in. Victoria didn't want to wake up this morning. Super crabby butt. She yelled at me this morning. Just now in the car. Because she doesn't want to go to school. I'm like, but we're here. So get out. <laughs> I'm going to go to Target. Grab my gift card for the giveaway. Told you it was happening. It is happening this time. Because I'm not going to get behind again. I'm trying really hard not to do that. Now that Jug Pudans is done and my focus could be now, right now. I have a doctor's appointment at 9.30. And then uh, I'm going to try to get to pick it. I'm going to try to get to pick it. i got to unload my car at some point because i got to pick up a butt ton of groceries for the OG tomorrow. So... They got, it's got to come out. All that stuff's got to go somewhere. I have nowhere for it. I legitimately have nowhere for it. <sighs> really wish I'd sold more furniture. Anyway. That's the deal. I also have a couple projects that are wrapping up. One that had to sit overnight uh, for some videos coming up. We had an unexpected, well, not really unexpected, but yeah, that's always unexpected. Death and Jeff family yesterday. And uh, so I'll have to go to a funeral at some point this week. And I'll run one of the craft videos that I've put in the hopper on that day because you, or the day after, because there won't be anything for you guys that day. So you're gonna have to go with me. I thought I was gonna run one today and then I thought, no, I need it. Just in case. Oh, see guys, the people that don't understand you can't see in fog really irritate me. Anyway, uh, so I'm saving that craft video. That's why you guys are going with me and pick it again today. Guess what? Mm. There wasn't anybody in line. <laughs> Apparently you gotta get there at 7.30. Got my gift card. $100 Target gift card we're giving away. Separate video, separate video. Don't ask me now. <sighs> Let me see if I can find a few pieces to chuck in the car from the van here. I told my sister I was cleaning and pricing pieces and she goes, I thought you were gonna use this stuff from Chuck Bananas. I said, I am, but I promised myself I was gonna be good. Like when I buy stuff to get it priced right away. This is gonna last about a week, y'all. Like, I'll be good for a week. And then, I won't be good anymore. All right, I think that's gonna be enough to fill any space that I have left. Um, brought a quilt, and then there's a bin and a crate full of stuff. So, take the super clean in, which I forgot to take in the other day, and I was like, I was gonna clean my stove, and I was like, what's that cleaner? Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait till I go to the doctor. Okay, just finished loading a blog post on cottage core design. So for those of you who are interested in that design style, there's a blog post on all the elements of cottage core. Those of you who are selling vintage should start buying for cottage core. It's actually not a new design style, but it's just called something else by the millennials and the, the snowflakes. <laughs> Okay, so now I picked up and then I grabbed a bunch of fall flowers and then the pumpkins from Junk Bonanza, which will get sold at Pick a Fence because I have no need for them. And I got a lampshade for the freaking uh, clarinet lamp. Lost the clarinet lamp lampshade. I know I brought it to pick it, but it's not there. A bunch of other gals here and they just left so I have a quick update but the booth looks really cute that gal that organized it I gotta put some stuff on the shelves and 
rearrange a few pieces because I can get other things in here and put the pumpkins out, but otherwise it looks really cute. I'm sweating. I should have gotten here earlier. I wish I had. There are all these gals here now. I mean, we are loaded. <laughs> I think everyone's here. I think every pick and fence gal is here. But they're done. Those are done. The pop up pictures. I have a few things I have to write tags for, but the punch that I needed for them was in here, in my kit, which I left at Dick and Mouse. Oh, because uh, I need the small circle. So I had a bunch of little small things that I had to price, and I'm like, I need my tag punch, my small round one. Put all the gourds and stuff in there from Junk Bonanza. Just put a buck a piece on them, $2 on the big pumpkins, just they'll go. People will want them for their porch or their house and then I can get rid of them. Make them go away. Go away. Go away. So I don't, tomorrow I'll go do the tour, but I don't have to think about anything now until Thursday. But tomorrow I'll go do the tour after I bring the OG is groceries. My glasses are fogging up because I'm sweating so bad. There's an Arby's up here. Their market fresh sandwiches are actually really good. <laughs> I'm just gonna get one of their turkey bacon club things. I like them. We still have a few minutes. <laughs> I can go to the thrift store. <laughs> just what I need. Another thrift run. But I gotta kill some time. I snarf that sandwich down inside my buddy. Like seriously, guys. <laughs> I should have taken a lot more time to eat that, but I forgot breakfast this morning. <coughs> That's the other thing. Ever since I've gotten off steroids, I don't have to eat breakfast in the morning. Now I realized I've gotten used to eating breakfast in the morning, so now I'm hungry. <laughs> I just was like, ah, I inhaled the sandwich. It was not lady like. It was more like a pig in a trough. That's what I'm saying. It was just like, oh, food. Part of my headache, I think, was the food. Not having food. I just saw the owner of Vintage Junkie out there like moving stuff around. I, I may have to call her. I met one of her vendors. I gotta see if I can uh, find more shops to sell at. I can't just be at one place. I need to diversify. We need to diversify. I'd like to get somewhere actually closer to the city so that I can get better prices, but we'll see. I don't know, a red barn might be an option. And we could follow up with them after the pandemic. Hmm. Oh crap. Look how busy the thrift store is. It's Monday. Senior Tuesday. Why are there so many people here? All right, we're not getting furniture. 
We're gonna do a quick run through. I did not buy furniture. Didn't wasn't even tempted because their prices are so terrible on furniture. Like they have decided. <laughs> looked at this one painting, and the painting is sun faded like crazy. So it's like it's only worth the frame, right? But the frame was kind of cool, so I thought, okay, let me take a look at it. Fifty-four dollars. Ah, no. I mean, if the painting had not been completely sun faded, you maybe could get twenty-five out of me. Maybe. But fifty-four dollars for no, 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 no. And then uh, the furniture. <laughs> you guys. It's just staggeringly stupid pricing on their furniture. So it's double stamp day. That's why Monday is packed now. So it was double stamp day. I spent $35, filled another card. I have a full one at home. Filled that card and I got another card started with another $35 in stamps, which that's awesome. I'm all down for double stamp day. Because now I have $20 that I can take off of furniture pricing and make it like normal pricing. Like where it should be. It's just crazy stupid on their furniture. So I went, oh no, I wasn't even tempted. Did find a few things though. We'll go through it when I get to the kidlet school. Good stuff. I got some good stuff. Oh, sneeze. Okay, so first I got this. It's not vintage. It's, a, it's for a project. This is what we use for the base of hair dryer lamps. Like you remember seeing that for uh, at Junk Bonanza, I had the hair dryer lamp. It didn't sell, but you know what? That doesn't stop me from buying another hair dryer. This one in Chrome. <laughs> I am going to find the salon owner that wants these lamps. I swear to God in heaven. I'm I ran out of gas. I had to stop and get. I only put half a tank in because their pump was so free and slow. I was like, Are you kidding me? Um, got a couple sewing hoops. Um, these two are for projects. And then this one is for me. <laughs> but you're all like, what are you sewing, Stacy? My pants. My pants just tore open in there. And I thought, oh God, I'm going to need to like sew them up, but I need it to be taut. I suppose this one probably would have been better. It's smaller, but I, I figured I have to keep sewing out my pants. Anyway, that's that. And I picked this up. It is a Motorola all transistor radio. And the only reason I did, I doubt it works. Oh my gosh, there's a $20 price tag in here from a vintage store. Motorola all transistor can't get to play get new batteries question mark. And then this says Motorola portable model, blah, 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 blah. So I think what happened was it was a vintage seller, clearly. Uh, if it's not working, vintage sellers have a difficult, have difficult time um, selling it. But what I was thinking was this would be a wicked cool Bluetooth. And I know a guy. <laughs> The OG could probably gut this thing and make it into a really cool Bluetooth speaker. So I'm going to find out if he can do it. And then it's a Tupperware butter dish. My grandma had this one. This exact same one. It was $1.50. Vintage Tupperware is selling really well for me. And I'm going to continue to sell it as long as people continue to buy it. And last month, I had an old lady looking for a butter dish. So this is going to get a price tag and we put in the shop too sweet in case she comes back for the sale. She's a regular, so I think she will be. And then I got one last thing. It was in the bathroom section has pepper in it. Is this the pepper? Nope, that's the salt. It still has salt in it too. Um, salt and pepper shakers. These are probably from, yep, Austria. You figured they were from Austria. I didn't even hesitate. They were $2 a piece. I grabbed them. Once this is cleaned up 
and the pepper is gone. That's gone online. I sell a lot of salt butter shakers. And that's it, guys. That's everything. I think I'm going to be done for the day. I don't know. I got some price tags to write when I get home and uh, some projects to work on to get a video out. So. Ooh. Find out if the OG can make a transistor into a Bluetooth. Let's hope so. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to his house and I got to paint rust on a Bluetooth speaker for him. Wait till you see it. It's going to be awesome. We're going to do a patina video. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.